Do you want to see a magic trick? Pretty cool, eh? But the really cool thing is that you can do this effect yourself in just a few minutes. Hey guys, Nathan here. What is up? So I don't know about you, but I've always loved the glowing eye effect, especially from the Blade Runner movies, like even the old ones where you see that creepy glowing eyes and you're like, whoa, it's a replicant. I've always found it super awesome. And I was like, hmm, I wonder if you can do that super easy and resolve. Turns out you can. But before we get into that, be sure to hit the like button and get subscribed for lots more videos like this. Anyway, let's get into it. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve Studio and I have my color graded clip. It's part of a group which I'm using to do the color grading on the clip, but that's not what this tutorial is about. It's pretty basic grading anyway. What we're doing today is the glowing eye effect. So the easiest way to get this done, we're gonna go into OFX. And we're gonna go down here to boop, Resolve FX Face Refine into Face Refinement. Now this is a super cool tool. So we're gonna go to the front of the clip and we're just gonna click Analyze. So it automatically goes through and analyzes the face and you're like, oh man, Nathan, automatically isn't a word. Well, it's actually the word that they use to define it in the official Resolve Manual. For real though, the Resolve Manual actually has some funny lines in it. It, it cracks me up sometimes. Anyway, as you can see here from these nice green marks all over my face, it's tracking my face and it's also picking very specific parts. So it's got my lips, nose, eyebrows, and most importantly for this effect, my eyes. So we're gonna click on the show overlay little tick there just to get rid of that grid. And then we're gonna go down to eye retouching. Now for this effect, we're only using a very small portion of this face refinement tool. But to get the glowing eyes, we're just literally gonna go in and we're just gonna brighten it up. And it's that easy. And one thing I like about this too, is it lets you also add an eye light. Because realistically, if my eyes are gonna get super bright, the area around my eyes should also get brighter. And this lets you do that super duper easy. So now, boom, we have these glowing eyes that are tracked to my face, which is pretty cool. But let's say you're like, oh yeah, but I don't just want the glowing eyes to pop out of nowhere. Easy peasy. You can keyframe it. Check this out. So let's say we want to, maybe as soon as the finger starts to go away, perfect, finger's going away there. That's where we want to end up at that level of brightness. And we want to start at zero. Boom. And then it gets brighter as my finger kind of depresses down on the button on the side of my head. And then if you want, you can keyframe the brightness throughout the clip if you want to add some flickering or something like that. But that's the basic way that you can get this effect done. And you may be thinking, well, what if I do it? There's two faces on screen. Well, easy peasy, I got you covered. I'm gonna go into here to this shot. I don't have any friends, so I just duplicated myself. Now, so let's say I want to add the glowing eyes effect. I'm gonna go in, go face refinement, go to the beginning and click analyze. Right off the jump, it's like, whoa, you got two faces. Which face do you wanna pick? I can pick this one or this one. Doesn't matter. Let's pick the one on the left. We're gonna go through, click analyze. And it's just gonna do what it always does. Boom, it's done. And you can see that's tracked right there. Gonna get rid of that overlay just cause it's kinda yucky. And then we can also do the other face. We're gonna go in, add another node with Alt S. That's how I add my nodes. Gonna click on face refinement, bring that in, go to the beginning again. You can also actually, let's just go from the end just to be different. Gonna click analyze. Now we've already got this face done. So let's do the one on the right. Press analyze and it just knows, oh, you're at the end of the clip, I'm gonna go back to the beginning. And boom, just that easy. Now this second face is tracked. We can get rid of show overlay. So if we wanna bring up the brightness on the second one, and let's say we maybe wanna bring it up on the first one too, we can do that and use the keyframes and all those sorts of things. But let's say you wanna get a little more advanced with it and maybe add a color. Well, I'll show you how to do that. Let's go back to the one of just my face and we're gonna add another node, just Alt S or Option S if you're on Mac. And we're gonna go in and grab a window. So click on this window and the circular one. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna go down, 
make this just a nice little oval to kind of cover my eyes like a little superhero mask. I'm gonna then go into the tracker, track forward on my face. Perfect, make sure that it sticks onto your eyes. If it doesn't, you may have to make some adjustments, so maybe move it around. And if you're still having trouble, then just click on frame and adjust it frame by frame. So then we're gonna wanna go in and qualify out our eyes. I'm just gonna select our highlight here. We don't need to worry about the color, so don't worry about that. And then just take down our saturation until the skin goes away. And boom, we're pretty much just left with the eyes. We can get rid of some of our less bright areas because our eyes are so bright now. Because the way that the pipeline actually works is this one then affects this one. So we now have super bright eyes. Okay, great. Now you can denoise that, just finesse it a little bit. Perfect. So now what we can do is maybe we can make them even a little bit brighter. And then if we wanna adjust the colors, there's lots of different ways you can do it. I like to do it in the offset personally. So let's say I want them to be kind of yellow, bring down my blue. Maybe I want them to be really red. You can also adjust it in the gain if you want. There's really a bunch of different ways you can do it. And that's how you can add a little bit of color to it as well. So one thing I personally don't like is when you watch a tutorial and they say an effect is super easy, but they don't specify what makes it super easy. Now this effect is pretty easy only if your character is face on to the camera and they don't turn away. If you have like a profile shot or if you have them moving around where you're gonna be losing their face and not see it, face refinement is gonna have a tough time tracking that face. So you can still do it, it just then becomes more difficult and you're maybe gonna have to use a power window technique like this around each individual eye and really track things by hand. You can do it, it's just a bit harder. So maybe plan out your shots if you wanna have the glowing eye effect, plan it out so that the characters may be face on or if they're gonna have to turn, just know that that shot's gonna take you a bit longer to do. Anyway guys, that's the glowing eye effect in DaVinci Resolve and I hope you're able to use that in lots of fun short films and make creepy replicant-like robots and have lots of cool effects. Anyway, if you like this video, be sure to hit that button, get subscribed for lots more videos like this, and have yourself a good one. Okay, bye.